Now let's talk about how to use locks. A lock is the most common way to put a hat on a character, a gun in a hand, or lock a camera to a character's face. Conceptually, a lock is a way to parent any 3D object onto any other 3D object in the scene. When you activate or deactivate a lock, all the motion on the object gets recomputed to counter animate so that it moves in the exact same way even though it has a new parent. This means changing the lock state doesn't visibly change the motion. Don't worry if this is a little bit difficult to understand at first. Once you get the hang of it, locks are one of the most intuitive and powerful features of the motion editor. So let's go ahead and create a close-up of one of these scouts as they're running. We'll use a lock to generate the camera motion. First, let's create the shot by using the blade drag the playhead, and hit B. That looks all right. Select the new shot, and just as before, we need to create our animation sets. Go ahead and say create animation set for existing element, and this time choose camera one, and scroll down in the list here of models and look for the scout. Notice that as we select each one of the scouts, their root joint is highlighting. Let's go ahead and pick the one in the front, and click OK. Hit tab to enter into the motion editor, now open up the camera controls, and notice that next to the transform control on the camera is a checkbox. This checkbox shows the lock state on the object. To change the lock state on an object, you can either click on it to lock it to the world, or drag and drop another object onto the lockbox. If you want a locked object to stick onto its new parent, you must first delete the motion on the locked object, and then adjust the time selection for when you want it to stick to the parent. So let's go ahead and do this. Select the camera's animation set, and use the view manipulator to move the camera closer to the scout's head. That looks pretty good. Next, let's hold down the control key and click on the joint for the scout's head. Notice that the animation set for the scout has opened up showing us the joint hierarchy and that the scout's head is now selected. Now we'll create the lock. In the animation set editor, click and drag on the joint name bip underscore head and drop it onto the lock box for the camera's transform. You can see that the lock icon appears. Note that if we preview time with the shift key, nothing has changed yet. Even though the camera's new parent is the head moving forward, the camera is moving backwards at the exact same speed, holding itself still. We can still manipulate the camera even though it's locked, but if we were to rotate the head joint, you can see that the camera is parented. So I don't really want this head rotation, so I'm going to discard the modification layer by hitting the escape key. To get the camera to track along with the head, we just need to remove the counter animation on the camera. Let's do this the same way we would for any object that needs to have its motion deleted. Drag the playhead till the object is in a state that you like, select the object, and then drag the playhead preset to 100%. Hit Control Spacebar to review, and you can see that the camera is now tracking along with the scout's head. Turn off the lock, and you can see that the scout's head motion has been rotoscoped onto the camera in world space. Once we apply the modification layer, it just becomes dense sample data again. This means that we can keep refining over and over again until we get it just right. This might take a moment to sink in, but mastering this is worthwhile. So now let's blend in some of his chest movement and rotation so that his head isn't just locked in the center of the view. To do this, we'll repeat the steps we did before. So let's go ahead and select spine 3, drag it onto the camera's transform, fade in the playhead preset by about half, and review again. This is basically blending in the chest motion with the motion that we just made. Objects can also be locked onto the world. The most common use of this is to make an object or a joint maintain its world space orientation. Let's go ahead and do this for the camera so that we can make it look a little bit less like a locked off helmet cam. Drag the playhead to a frame where the camera rotation looks good. Now go to the animation set editor and open up the transform on the camera. You should see two controls, one for rotation and one for translation. Click on the lockbox next to rotation to lock it to the world. Next, select only the rotation control and apply the playhead preset. Now the camera's orientation will be locked in world space. Hit control spacebar to review. Note that the camera is keeping its world space orientation and the scout's head is sort of wobbling around in frame a little bit. Hmm. It would probably look a little bit better if we left in some of the head rotation. So I'm going to go ahead and hit escape to discard that modification layer and this time I'm only going to apply the playhead preset by about half. Hit control spacebar to review. All right, we're done with that. Let's go ahead and hit enter to apply the motion and unlock. And don't forget, hit control S to save your work.